Hey, what's going on, crypto people? It's the crypto siege of another day in the life and the crazy life that is cryptocurrency. What is good, guys? What's going on? Crazy, crazy last couple of days in the XRP community. Huh? That's been crazy, right? Very, very interesting thing. And so, it's interesting. My last video that I did, I think I just uploaded it today, even though I did it like a couple days ago. If not long, if not three days ago, and uh, the title of that video was um, "XRP Ripple News," all in on XRP question mark, and I think I put "nope" with an exclamation point, right? And the video was really uh, about uh, a couple YouTubers, uh, one in particular, uh, great guy in the XRP community, and I was and I was I was commenting on the video. And it was all kind of a combination of Crypto Bear's video and um, an email that he uh, got from some uh, bearable guy decoder dude, right? Don't know. I don't know who this dude is. Right. So he got this video, and so Crypto Bear was excited, pumped, and put out this video about, in essence, about you know how important it was to diversify. And so I had did a video on that because Alice Cobb did a video in response to that and Alice Cobb's video was essentially saying I don't see any value in any other cryptocurrency other than XRP and that is just about a quote just about a quote and again I'll say it again Alex Cobb I like him smart young mind absolutely invaluable to the XRQ community but what I said in the video that I did my last video that I just quoted the title XRP Ripple News all in on XRP question mark no what I said in that video was that you have to be careful as a YouTuber you have to be careful to 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 what's the I don't know if it's give a tone I don't know if it's, you have to accept responsibility and understand the fact that you as a content creator have a measure of influence, whether you like it or not. And so it doesn't matter how many times you say, do your own homework, I'm not telling you what to do. Do your own due diligence. I'm not a financial planner. Doesn't matter that you say that. As a content creator, you have a measure of influence. That's why they have this thing called influencer marketing. And the YouTube channel is a marketing channel. Period. Right? And so, I was getting from that video from Alex Cobb that... The idea of diversifying into some other cryptos was not worthy of your consideration or there was just simply nothing of value in the asset space to diversify in. In his opinion. In his opinion. In his opinion. But it felt like to me that there was a tone of Man, why would you get anything else if you got XRP? And I'm just here. To, I'm just here to say that that is, in my opinion, unequivocally not smart, not wrong, but not smart. Number one, in my humble opinion, it sets up bad habits. Because investing in finances is right, there's there's a discipline to it. And if you're in a habit of trying to find the best one and then going all in on that one in the financial space, that's a problem. Like, that's a problem. That's like Warren Buffett saying, you know what? I'm gonna hold on to Coca-Cola and I'm gonna live and die in Coca-Cola. That's what that is like saying. I'm gonna go all in on uh, Apple, and I'm and, and I'm going all on it. I'm picking that. I'm going with it. Live or die, baby. 
do, do or die with freaking Amaz with uh, Apple or Amazon. Warren Buffett doesn't do that, and we we gotta. F you know, I think I just think some people, and so I'm going to talk about CKJ crypto news as well, and and kind of all the heat that that dude got unnecessarily, and I'm going to tell you my belief and my my reasons for why that happened. But here's the thing, you know, I was listening to a real, some really really smart guys in finance, right? So, uh, uh, I think his name is Mark Yusuf or Yusnof, uh, the Mark Morgan Creek uh, uh, asset guy. CEO and the CIO, they get his name. The older guy, smart. Anthony Popliano, Anthony uh, Popliano, that that company, right? And I'm listening to him, and I'm you know I'm listening. And I'm just thinking, you know what? That's genius in motion between those two, right there. But anyway, so I'm listening to some guys who are smart and finances and money, right? Not a YouTuber. Right, so I'm, I'm listening to these guys, and you know, they got a lot of money. They're very, very smart. Why aren't they all in on just one uh, digital asset? Right? I mean, in my opinion, they're smarter than the YouTuber when it comes to making money. Right? Why? In, why aren't they all in on one asset, on one digital asset? Why is it Novogratz who is pretending that he's not an XRP fan? Why isn't he why isn't he all in on one asset? And he made we all know he kind of made all his money from Bitcoin and I think especially Ethereum. Why isn't he all in on just Ethereum, do or die, to the end? Why isn't he? What about Pantera? Why aren't they what about digital currency group? Why aren't they all in? on one digital asset because they know how to make money because they understand this isn't this is not about your beloved wife girlfriend significant other backing them to the end you got their back no matter what happens this is about making money plain and simple this is about making money period technology it's going to take care of itself. It's going to evolve. It's going to change. It's going to get better. That's what it does. This, for you and I, as a retail investor, is about making money. And so, you know, I've said this in one of my videos before. This is the reason why I have a I have a you know a small challenge with this whole community thing and people becoming tribal and defensive and argumentative argumentative because of this exact thing that happened to CKJ in crypto news that's why this this in this in-house bickering is going on in the XRP community that's, that's the reason why that's the reason why look here's the thing there's always going to be a, a AT&T and a Verizon and a freaking whoever else is out there there's always going to be a Netflix and uh, whoever else is in competition with them. I don't know if it's even Amazon Prime Video, maybe. maybe. Amazon is in competition with everybody. They're out of control, right? There's always going to be an AT&T, a Verizon, and a T-Mobile. Everyone forgets that there were, two, there were, you know, I don't know, 200 AT&Ts before there was an AT&T, if you know what I'm saying. There were there were thousands of dot you know www dot I want to be in business dot com thousands before there was Amazon and Apple and Microsoft right you understand what I'm saying a lot of those came and went they came they're here today and gone tomorrow but tons of smart money let's put it to you that way. Smart money made money while those companies were here. And knew when to exit, when they saw the writing on the wall, and they were going to be gone. 
That's what smart money did. Smart money talked the vast majority of people out of Apple and out of Microsoft because they knew the game and out of Amazon because they know the game and talked you right out of it. Talked the masses, I should say, right out of it because they know the game. This is, this is about making money, guys. This is not being loyal to your best friend, to your significant other, to your childhood sweetheart. That's, that's not what this is about. This is about making money. And so although Crypto Bear, it was not the smartest thing to go ahead and list some assets. That's, that, was prob <laughs> that was probably not the smartest thing based upon, especially if it was based upon some dude on YouTube who sent him an email. Probably not the best idea. But he trusted him. He got misled. Crypto Bear got misled. And I, out of all of this madness that's going on with CKJ, Crypto News, and XLP community, I feel the worst for, for Crypto Bear because he got misled. He got misled. You know? It, it, here's another thing I'll say, and I'll just throw this out. There's a reason why the digital asset investor doesn't get involved in all that in-house bickering and, you know, predictions and trying to dissect puzzles, riddles. You know, there's a reason for that. I mean, you might want to check out his background. You might want to look into him a little bit. There's a reason for that. So, so anyway, so my point to this is that CKJ Crypto News, in an attempt, to what he was trying to do, in an attempt to, you know, have uh, to what is the word? Protect his, to protect his community. Oh, I want you to freaking put those in quotations. To protect his community. Put out a video saying, yo, this Dakota dude, hmm, something's not right. Something's not right about this. Right? Now, why did he do that? Or why did he feel the need to do that? Here's the, here's the underlying truth. Because he's got a following. And he cares about the following. That's why. Because he has a following and he cares about that following. That's the that's the challenge with being an influencer marketer. Now whether he likes it, I like it, digital asset investor likes it, Sam I am to the lifeboats do likes it, DM logic, who probably gets it more so than most of them. You have a measure of influence on your community. So, when they hear something that they don't like, what do you think's gonna happen? It's community. Care about each other. Don't, don't, don't get in your feelings a little bit, as we like to say. Don't get in your feelings a little bit. And that's exactly what happened to people in his community. Turn on. It's not because they're all in on XRP. It's not because, uh, well, it's not because they, um, what is it, invested more than they can afford to lose. That's not it. Because they're all in on XRP. That's why. That's why. Because they're all in on one digital asset and their hopes, dreams, all are all tied to one digital asset and that's a mistake it doesn't matter if they end up being right it's just not good financial sense it's not good money making decisions and, and the thing that drives me crazy and is why I talked about the guy from Morgan Creek is he pointed out he was being interviewed by some a guy from Coindesk I think it was at a conference or something Consensus it might have been a consensus thing. He said that this is not, you know, this is a digital asset class. Not, it's not a digital asset. 
It's a digital asset class. And he said institutions are not worried about things and about price. They have a different mindset. They have a different mentality. And he is not sitting down with the dude ready to put in 50, 100 million dollars and say, you know what, I, you know, I think you need to take 99.99% of your money and put it in Bitcoin. Or 99.99% or .99 of that 1, 2, 3, 4% of your portfolio in Bitcoin. He's not telling them to do that either. He's saying, here's this thing, Bitcoin. Here's this thing, XRP. Here's this thing, Ethereum. Here's this thing, EOS. Here's this thing, Cardano. Here's this thing, Stellar. And making intelligent arguments for why they want to diversify a little bit. And why they chose those you know, eight, nine, ten different digital assets. Stellar has this use case. XRP has this use case. EOS is building this amazing thing. Bitcoin has store value. You see what I'm saying? Not one. There, there is no smart money that's not going all in on one thing, one digital asset. Why? Because it's not smart. It's just not smart to do, guys. It's not about being right. It's not about XRP being the greatest digital asset ever created. It's not about that. It's about making money. And it's about making sound financial decisions. So, of course, you're supposed to diversify. It's a digital asset class. It's not a digital, it's not a digital asset. You, you, you don't know what's going to happen. First of all, you may know every single thing or believe you know every single thing about XRP and where it's going. But you don't know every single thing and where Bitcoin is going. You don't know every single thing and where Litecoin is going. Right? Like, you don't even know the sleeper that's out there. Cork chain, hollow, V chain. You don't know the sleeper that's out there. You don't know. How do you know? You don't know. And even if you're right with XRP, wouldn't you still want to have a diversified portfolio of digital assets? Because you don't know. It might take XRP. Let's put it to you this way. You could spend less money on other digital assets and have bigger returns. So let me ask you something. How is that wrong? Like, how is that wrong? You could make, depending upon how much money you put in XRP, in the first two, let's say the let's say within the first two years of this boom, this bull run, you can put less money in some other digital assets and make more money than you do on XRP. How is that wrong? It doesn't mean that you're not right about XRP being the greatest digital asset ever. Doesn't mean that you're wrong about that. But we're not talking about being right and wrong. We're talking about making money, generation no income. Now, if you want to if you want to want to be completely safe, I get that. I get that. We're talking about an opportunity of uh, two lifetimes. Two lifetimes. And we're talking about early in an asset class where you could say you got some EOS, you got some um, Litecoin, <laughs> you got some in the top 12. And if, like, seriously, I, you could seriously hold on to them for a decade and look and see what's going on after 10 years. Because 2018, like my dude CKJ Crypto News says, this is 2018 is, is the is the opportunity of a lifetime to get you know to you know to spill your bags in an asset class. 
when I say class, there's this guy called Tika Tarari, a lot of you probably heard of him. Like, here's one of the most brilliant young, back then, young Mai's with the uh, Lehman Brothers, youngest VP in the history of the company. Youngest VP in the history of the company. You gotta get, that. that's probably a smart guy. Hunt, hedge, owned his own hedge fund company manager, hedge fund manager. He, he, why is he not telling his people to just go all in on one thing? <laughs> like, why? You see what I'm saying? So, so, you know, so CKJ, you know, this dude, here's this guy who's looking out for his community. That's his intention. And they, people turn on him. Like, like these are people who would be like, yo, these are my boys. To my in terms in terms of his channel, in terms of his channel, like these are my boys, these are my girls. They got me, they got my back, and look what happened. Why? Because of that all-in-one mentality, and into that community thinking. Like that's why, and as soon as he went a different way and said a certain, over, it's over. Now, now, so he's he's ranting on his. He's, so, so what happens? He's ranting you know, on his videos, and and not that he's wrong, and not that the bearable guy one two three didn't come and say you know, and that's to say he was right for doing what he that he did. My point is that the reason why he he got the backstabbing that he did is because it's 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 this all in one thing. If you put this all in one thing, you're I'm telling you that's what's going to happen. It, that's what's going to happen. That's why. It's always going to be. It's always better to diversify. Doesn't matter if you're diverse. Doesn't matter if, if you have some Google and some Yahoo. Is that wrong? Because you got some Google stock and you got some Yahoo stock? Because Google is significantly better than Yahoo? Is it wrong that you have some Yahoo? Like, come on. That makes no sense makes no sense now I'm not going to tell you which digital asset class that you should invest in but it is an asset class I mean it's an asset class it's, it's assets right it's not just gold it's not just it's not precious metal <laughs> right it's not commodity it's commodities you see what I'm saying guys so anyway, so that's kind of, and I feel bad for CJ. I mean, I'm glad I'm glad he got vindicated a little bit. But I feel bad for him, you know. I feel bad for him, you know. I mean, he sought it out. He, I mean, he sniffed it out. He sniffed out that Dakota dude trying to help out his community, and that's what happened. And that's what happened, you know. A little bit of backstabbing going on there. And so, ca take caution in this whole community thing. We want the whole crypto space to win. We want Bitcoin. It's like, a lot of people don't get this. We want Bitcoin to get better. Like, I don't know why this this XRP Bitcoin thing. Like, it's what? Why? It's silly to me. We want Bitcoin to get better. <laughs> we want EOS, EOS to figure the things out. Right? Do we even want? We even want Stellar to get better. I know that might be like saying that's like almost like you know whatever, but we want the asset classes to get better. We want Tron to get better. We want Ethereum to get better. We want the real companies with real projects to get better. And and because if we do that, the scams and the junks they're just gonna go away. They're gonna wither away because they can't aim. It'll become more and more obvious that they can't compete or, they're, or that they're schemes. So that's what we want. We want the cryptocurrency as a whole, the, ad, the digital asset class as a whole, to get better. It doesn't matter if you like Litecoin. Like, what? Like, you know, Bitcoin Ben, he's so funny, man. Like, he doesn't like XRP and, and the banks. And, what does that matter, dude? What does that matter? You know, I mean, you know, he's like, he says he's never going to buy XRP. More power to him. I'll, thank you. Thank you, Bitcoin Ben. I'm going to buy it. 
I'm gonna increase the stacks. Anyway, guys, anyway, I gotta go. Never forget, guys, old money doesn't want you to win. You know, we're in, we in the midst of the greatest time in the history of man. Are you participating? Are you standing on the sidelines? This is our chance to win. Never forget it, guys. Here's what I do know. The battle for you has already been fought, and the victory is yours. Go get it. Talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.